डॉक्टर इराना इज बोर्ड मेंबर इंटरनेशनल डायबिटिक फेडरेशन यूरोप रीजनल टू जीरो वन फाइव टू टू जीरो वन नाइन शी इज पी एच डी इन ऑफ फार्मेसी इज एसोसिएटेड प्रोफेसर एट द नेशनल मेडिकल अकेडमी ऑफ पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट एजुकेशन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ ऑफ यूक्रेन एंड शी इज सुपरवाइजर ऑफ इंटरनेशनल पी एच डी स्टूडेंट हर रिसर्च इंटरेस्ट आर फार्मेस्टिकल केयर ऑफ पीपल विद डायबिटीज रिफॉर्म ऑफ हेल्थ केयर द डेवलपमेंट टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ न्यू कम्प्लेक्स एक्शन मेडिसिन मेडिकल फिल्म्स, जेल क्रीम फॉर ट्रीटमेंट क्रोनिक वोन्स एंड डायबिटिक फूड वोन्स फॉर डेंटिस्टी थेरेपेटिक एजुकेशन ऑफ पीपल विद एनसीडी, एथिकल एस्पेक्ट एंड राइट्स ऑफ पेशेंट इंक्लूडिंग इन क्लिनिकल ट्रायल शी इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल एडिटर ऑफ साइंटिफिक एंड फार्मिस्टिकल जर्नल एडिटर ऑफ डायबिटीज एंड जस्ट सेकेंड लाइफ शी हैज Three fifty one fifty five publications, eight patient, six books. Okay. Uh, also, she is a co-author of publication of IDF Europe two zero one seven. She is international expert in diabetes. She is a member of National Diabetic Council, member of multidisciplinary working group in draft medical technology document for standardization of medical care in diabetes type one and two. Ministry of Health of Ukraine, member of Public Council of Ministry of Health of Ukraine, deputy chairman of Public Council of. state administration of ukraine on medical products in addition she became an active member of a strong team of the professional ukraine diabetic federation i think this list can go on i will request her to start a deliberation you are very accomplished career so please enlighten us yeah thank you so much for intro the is too much information about me <laughs> Uh, and i'm very happy to be attend to this uh, I, i just only share my screen yeah i hope you see mm -hmm. um i uh i'm very happy to be attend to this great conference thank you very much to professor banshi sabo for in invitation me i'm very happy to be useful for our diabetes community especially for indian because uh, indian in my heart from childhood uh, i think our session is very attractive because on only in this session um uh, uh, include very attractive women <laughs> in this case our section uh, session will be very successful i joke of course and uh, i want to start because we uh, very close next Uh, very close uh, great da data like christmas i want to say to our a audience uh, merry christmas and uh, christmas and happy new year and uh, i hope our oh, and i wish for next year we will be more successful <laughs> and we we have no problem as we now and um, uh, today we will speak about um, very important subject at communication um, because you uh, we very often speak about knowledge about uh, the, about really knowledge professional knowledge but without communication is not we cannot deliver a good uh, good work and quality um, treatment look joint commission reported that communication failure raises than any lack of technical skills of understanding was at the root of over 70 of serious ad adverse health outcomes in hospital two out of three patients leaving the hospital don't know their diagnosis in 60% of cases patients walk away from a doctor visit not understanding what they are supported to do instruction for medication and lifestyle change people with diabetes internal internalize messages from many resources you know the media from people around uh, them like patients uh, friends and family but healthcare provider the most important person who deliver uh, deliver uh, treatment and information for people with diabetes but unfortunately doctor i uh, uh, are not both with excellent communication uh, skills like every person uh, in this case we but doctor a unique a unique in a unique position in respect and power and 
uh, they must learn about communication, most uh, very important thing for them. Effective doctor-patient communication through the motivation, uh, extensive uh, reassurance and support, increased job satisfaction, both of them, uh, reinforce patient self-confidence, increase outcome counts, and decrease cost of treatment. If you look on this, uh, on this uh, big, uh, big slide, this is a very big complex uh, patient-doctor communication. And despite communication skill training in medical school, doctors continue to demonstrate poor patient-doctor communication skills, which, uh, which show some research. Of course, we have a lot of barriers uh, to good communication in the doctor-patient relationship, it's international, linguistic, physical, culture, organization, time, time management. And also, this is new thing, uh, things uh, resistant by patients. Today, patients have recognized that they are not passive recipients and are able to resist uh, the power and expert authority that society grants doctors. They can, can implicitly and explicitly resist uh, the monologue of information transfer from doctor, but actively rec uh, reconstructing, expect information to assert their own uh, uh, perspective. Uh, important, but overlook communication lapses, which uh, show some research that uh, have four most important uh, um, lapses. Uh, this is not nonverbal, it's a contact, facial expression, paralanguage, uh, verbal, active listening, inappropriate choice of words, poor attitude, lack of respect and empathy, and contact, poor uh, quantity and quality of information provided. But this is not about our audience. Uh, training doctors should include uh, nonverbal para, uh, paralinguistic elements. Uh, I take only two, uh, like phon uh, phonation or phonetic. Phonation, uh, phonotation, sorry. Tempo, timbreage, speech volume, pulse, feelers, for example, hmm, hum, melodic speech, um, and kinetic gestures, posture, facial expression of the speaker. You, uh, you can see this uh, big, uh, big book about this is new book about uh, this paralinguistic um, deli how uh, deliver this information use this skill. And uh, uh, some uh, some uh, some university in, uh, use simulation based communication model for training doctor and also we must highlight negative emotion of doctor has influenced their communication uh, pattern. Uh, I, pro, um, I promote, promote uh, very often communication skills for healthcare prof uh, professionals. So the addition is new books. Please look this uh, uh, link. You can uh, donate uh, free this very interesting book and very useful for you because it's a lot of information uh, about diabetes um, uh, care. Uh, and it, we can say like general guidelines to follow with patients, show respect and compassion, practice unconditional positive regard, show concern and interest, practice obje uh, objectivity, and inherent awareness and observation skills. Tips for better communication with a patient. Ah, interesting, I find this is like three out of four doctors don't introduce themselves to the patient. And speak and not use this medical term. Don't say hypertension, uh, say high blood pressure. Don't say hyperlipidemia, say high cholesterol. Uh, and check if your patient understood, understood you, but don't ask, do you understand? Of course, patients will respond, yes, but I'm not sure about this. And, uh, but please uh, ask, uh, the, uh, repeat, what do you say? Be adaptable, uh, sl uh, slow down and adapt to this situation. 
and tend to arguing questions of your patient. So empathic, um, empathic. Um, gain context for what going on the patient like. Be uh, awareness about really life of your patient. Just to, uh, just be honest. Patient want uh, the truth. Don't beat around the bush. This is also was uh, interesting. Uh, Research that show the patients say it's very important to provide to communicate about chronic disease management by making making personalized recommendation based based on information that is specific to patient and their individual needs, helping patients um, understand their current and target health message, sending medication refill, and pick up reminders by technology, uh, deliver online service of check, uh, check in to help monitor disease and identify health risks and manage chronic conditions. Uh, I want to um, highlight the four critical times to provide and modify diabetes health manage management education and support service. We have like four, at diagnosis, like first time, then, uh, annually and when not meeting treatment targets, when complicating uh, factor develop, and when transition uh, in life and care acute. Step, uh, steps uh, in the process of uh, diabetes self-management education ref uh, reflect uh, uh, cycling and ongoing in process, uh, monitoring and evaluation, assessment. A goal setting, planning, implementation, and so on, so on, again, again. This is, uh, unfortunately, this disease forever now. Model of patient education, we use uh, a different model, like paternalistic model, I decide for you everything, uh, deliberative model. In addition, I tell you my preference. Uh, informative model, I give you facts. Uh, and interpretative uh, model. I give you facts and help you to find your preference. I think it's, uh, uh, we must use all of models, combination of these uh, models, and of course, every model use a um, little bit another communication skill. Uh, language is, uh, is powerful and wor words have the power to elevate and destroy. For people with diabetes, language uh, has an impact on motivation, behavior, and outcome. For decades, um, a substantial amount of the language around diabetes has been focused on negative outcome. I remember that you like 15 years, oh, you have diabetes, mama, yeah, this is catastrophic. But now, uh, you know, we have uh, a lot of good plus uh, things uh, which we can manage uh, diabetes now. And this is time for the language around diabetes must change. Uh, the International Diabetes Federation uh, published a language philosophy because they believe that there is a the responsibility to set an example about appropriate language to others. And this also we must think in that there are we can change uh, our um, words. For example, if you speak about control, we very often use blood glucose level, uh, blood glucose target, glycemic target, glycemic stability, glycemic variability. Now uh, you must use. But for people, focus on natural words and uh, philosophy biology defines what good control means in factual terms and use that instead. Guideline principle for communication with and about people with diabetes. You know, we have many factors and variables. Stigma that is historical been attached to diagnosis of diabetes can contribute to stress and feeling of shame and judgment. Every member of the healthcare team can say, serve people with diabetes more effectively through the respectful, inclusive and person-centered approach, a person first. Uh, this is a, also a new document, uh, Language Murder, which uh, development by 
national health system in, in England. Uh, that you can find practical um, practical advice how to use in, uh, of incorrect and stigmation language can lead to further discrimination in people living with diabetes. And you can find a good example how to change this language. But we must remember our principle on this. Recognize that some words, phrases, and this and a description are potentially pr problematic, whatever the inter uh, intention of the user. Use language that free from and judge or negative um, components. Uh, avoid a language with attribute responsibility or blame to a person for development of their diabetes uh, or its uh, consequences. Avoid language that in infer generalization parasite uh, uh, one individual with uh, previous experience and other or a similar background or in similar situation every person individual use of development and em uh, empathic language style which speaks to uh, experiential and certain point of view of other condition ra rather than a this is a picture from my my experience, practical experience as educator of of, of people with diabetes. I, I like this because uh, this is give feedback, um, great feedback. And if you find uh, like like if you see good results, and some people lost weight, some people um, can manage you, uh, them diabetes. This is extremely good feedback and motivation for you. But uh, you must use a, a lot different model and also control uh, lend, uh, control knowledge. And of, uh, and of course, what I want to show that we must use the, uh, different methodology, different um, for example, this is your, you know about this, about map. But this is not only map that we can use for uh, different uh, type of something. We must make combination of this. And it's very important um, uh, training for doctors. And this is uh, one research, it is new research, the study designed a type of learning software to train in the interns to advance their communication skills. And they show that after this, uh, after this, um, uh, computer training, they uh, they more respectful to patient and show em empathetic communication behavior. And it's great that the doctor patient communication software may help the doctor know more about communication skills. And another uh, another inter interesting uh, interesting research that. Uh, uh, the improved behavior may lapse over time. In this case, we must do this regularly uh, and check our patient also uh, listen uh, from them. We in our session was before uh, about technology. Digital revolu uh, revolution will have big impact on our physical interaction with patients. Do uh, are we ready for this? Look in this big, big complex include for uh, this communication in this gear health era. And uh, especially in diabetes, because now uh, ad advancements uh, in healthcare delivery technology, smartphone, telemedicine, M health, and so on, in significant opportunity to achieve better efficiency in diabetes care and increase patient involvement in diabetes self-management. Are we ready for this? I'm very happy, listen, that uh, uh, Germany, uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Peter uh, promote them course. It's great opportunity and free course for uh, improve our field. But we also must remember about six factor of communication risk uh, by patient safety and quality health care. This is, could be culture, uh, according to some culture beliefs. Uh, another uh, social economic factors can be risk because many doctors think that patients from a low uh, social economic status desire less information. This is also could be risk, maybe it's not right. 
literacy factor. Patients with English as second language may not be able to understand writing instruction. Uh, time, um, effective schedule produced schedule. Many doctors have a lot of uh, patients and have not enough time for effective communication. And uh, unfortunately, uh, I must say this gender factor. Mild, uh, mild physicians are more likely to over time uh, time their communication uh, skills, and this is also a risk because they expect another thing. And a physician will behavior issues such as tendency to yell. Uh, um, this is negative, and this is also for risk for people. And we must. As I say, if we go to this era, um, digital era, we must know about this and to have training like digital identify, graffiti communication, learn and self-development, technical uh, proficiency information, data and media literacy, uh, digital creation, innovation, and scholarship. Uh, sorry. And, uh, and uh, engine, I would like to um, promote IDF School of Diabetes. You see the online course is available free until 31 December 2020. So you can find time for register and you can go uh, free. The role of diabetes education. You can find a lot of information in this course. Thank you so much for your attention and Merry Christmas.